Ed Barker joining us, and we're going to go right from cold to warm summer and warm summer activities and warm <laughs> us up with some uh, summer activities. Swimming. Swimming, yeah. So it's top on my list. It's actually highlighted in blue um, because we're in need of lifeguards and WSI water safety instructors for the Samantha Wright Pool. Um, and we really need them. We, with a shift of high school to college kids to college kids to heading to the real workforce, we're mm -hmm. always in need of support staff to help us maintain what we do at the Samantha Wright Pool at the Riverside Park because we offer infant swim, mm -hmm. youth swim, adult swim, lap swim, outdoor adventure, swim lessons, and just general public swimming. Wow. So my pitch this morning is it's easy to find me on the town website. Indeed. dboker 3 at roadrunner.com. Get on this because all of the WSI classes and American Red Cross uh, lifeguard classes take place between now and the first week in June, and we open the pool in June. And um, typically we hire 16 and over. Mm -hmm. So you... If you want to be a lifeguard, maybe you're already a lifeguard, but if you want to be, you should think about it now because of the classes. Yes. Okay. There you go. Absolutely. Contact us and we'll set up an agreement with you to come to work for us if you pass the test as far as all the testing in WSI and Red Cross as well as you're able to articulate the most important aspects of teaching swimming and working with the public in terms of safety and and uh, commitment. Right. Yep. Roughing it in the heated pool. That's right. And it's a beautiful heated pool. Olympic size heated pool. Yes. It's, That's roughing it. It is. Yeah. Yeah. It's state so of the art. Calling out all the lifeguards for summer activities. That's right. So, on top of that, we'll be uh, having tennis lessons again at Riverside Park with Chris Pedente. And on a side note, the nets were still up the first week in December and they were literally playing tennis they were. prior to the freeze up. <laughs> yeah. So, honestly, there was eight months of tennis, and youth tennis starts in June, but Chris facilitates adult tennis, doubles tennis, instruction at the courts pretty much six days of the week. Right. And some of those people spend the rest of their time in the wintertime playing pickleball and honing their pickleball skills, so they play both tennis and pickleball, and the tennis courts are aligned for pickleball. Yeah. So that's an important aspect, and you know we're re really happy to have him because he's a USTA member and a seniors double uh, champion. Yeah. And some of these people that have taken up tennis have improved tremendously, and I know tennis quite well, having played competitive tennis myself. So right. The town is beyond lucky to have such an incredible resource right here in the valley. Right. Yeah. So we've got summer travel golf happening with golf pro Scott Hoisington. Nice. He helps us with other activities. We're actually going to travel this year with our kids to the different golf courses throughout the state as part of the, the main amateur golf programming. So we'll be taking the more advanced golfers mm -hmm. and uh, we'll be touring the state in that respective schedule of events somewhat normal yes yeah. Yeah, yes yeah. yes and we're very grateful to be able to have the sugarloaf golf course and most of these young athletes have started in the alden donald jr program which mm -hmm. we have an endowment fund that helps finance a lot of the programming Great. and we're able to work with the pro staff at the golf course to make sure that our kids kindergarten through grade 12 learn the game of golf and learn on course play and etiquette. So many opportunities here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yep. Many. Then we've got paddleboard and summer kayak program with Whitewater Main Guide um, Sterling Smith with assistants Leah Ross and Scott Hoisington and we take part in that program at Flagstaff. We shuttle the paddleboards and the kayaks to the lake and that's a seven week program with waiting lists and you have to be an advanced swimmer to participate strictly pretty much nine and above we test the kids out to pass their deep water tests the lifeguards and the staff at the pool because flag staffs 
surrounded by the mountains and the winds pick up and you don't want to be on a lake if you don't know how to swim well or tread, tread water. Right, got to tread. Yeah, and then just a couple more things. Uh, we've got Outdoor Adventure Camp with Ann Poirier Flight, the director, camp director and her counselors. Ann is in di dire need of counselors as well. Um, once again, you can find her name on the town website or mine if you have an inquiry in regards to being a counselor. The information pertaining to camp is being built right now. I know she's been bombarded with emails like I have with other programs, so please be patient. We're getting a new website for the town built, oh. and we're working on our program content right now. Right. Yeah. Great. Great. And that will start right after 4th of July, and it's a six-week program. And then we've got our mountain bike camp facilitated by our own Andy Gillespie here at Outside WSKI. Andy That's right. Yeah. He is a, he's probably got tenure now, more than 10 years of coaching, with Carrie Willette and a potpourri of other instructors from over in the Mount, Mount Abram and Sunday River area. Mm -hmm. Some very, very good, good instructors. Um, that's for an advanced intermediate camp that will take place the last two weeks in July, and that information will be out. I have a waiting list already of past participants and participants that are interested. Well, there's evidence about how successful the program is and, and how much I, they enjoy it. Yeah, I want to thank Carabasset Region NIMBA because they take some of the proceeds from the Carabasset Back Country Cycle mm -hmm. and cycle that in to the development of our youth programming. So it's greatly appreciated. It's what we do here. We work in collaborative formats. So. Oh, that's great. And then the, the last thing I want to talk about is we're hiring for a mountain bike trail crew. Um, Josh Trouss, this is our trail boss, and he and I work hand in hand with our federal and state grants and development of some of the mountain bike trail crew and programming, and we were able to get a USDA grant for job creation as well as development in the Wyman project area towards Caribou Pond. And Training provided. That's correct. Training provided, and we are hiring for summer mountain bike trail crew, which primarily starts May and ends typically in the middle of November. Yeah. You can know those trails intimately. Yes. Yeah. Well, there you go. So much to cover and uh, so many opportunities for people, too. Yeah. And so live in a great we encourage place. them to give you a call and help out if they want to be counselors or... Uh, a lot of people with a lot of skills in all of these, so hopefully they'll take advantage of it. hope so. And by the way, you are looking great with your Valentine's Day uh, red wearing today. Thank so. you. I'm pretty excited. You are. You yeah. Are.